My name is Anthony and I'm one of the complementary therapy coordinators here in the hospice. My role is to coordinate all the, the complementary therapies that we have on offer here through our team of volunteers and also to offer my own therapy, which is music therapy. And music therapy can be divided into an active field, which uses more music making and music playing and songwriting and receptive music therapy where you would listen to music. And the body tambour is a relatively new instrument in the field of receptive music therapy. So this is the tambora. Uh, it's based on the Indian tambora that the Beatles probably used when they were out in India um, in the 60s. The Indian tambora has a rounded base and a more upright um, head to it. Um, this one is, is a flat instrument, 28 strings and with a concave base. And it's made of very light wood, so it's designed for clinical use to be a, a resonant instrument, but also light enough to be able to place on someone's chest or their lap should they wish to feel the music as well as listen to it. So what I've been doing here over the last few months since I've had it is doing some research. And my research question is, what effect does 10 minutes of listening to tambora music do to a patient? And so far I've done a reasonable number of readings. The average on the scale of 0 to 10 before they listen to tambora music would be 7.5. After 10 minutes of listening to the music uh, with no other intervention, it comes down to two and a half out of 10. So that's quite a big reduction in anxiety simply by listening to 10 minutes of music. I play in such a way often where there is a, a note on the tambora and there's a bit of silence afterwards. And that can be very nice to match in with the breath and slowing people's breathing down and quietening their minds down. So by not giving the mind quite so much attention, by not focusing so much on the doing and on the, what, what we're going to do next, and more on being here, let's listen to this music for a few minutes and maybe close our eyes. You can get a patient more aware of their beingness, not just their mental activity and their doingness. Well, my name is Sheila Williams. I'm a retired primary school head teacher, and I've been coming to the hospice now over a period of about 10 weeks owing to the fact that I've got secondary breast cancer. And I learned very quickly that it's, it's a very positive place. It's not a place to be afraid of. I'd never heard of a body tambora because there are only about 50 in the world as far as I understand it. And this one here is the only one in the UK. It certainly has a very relaxing influence on me because you can feel the tensions sliding away. And I personally close my eyes and I have a, a vision of the sea coming, flowing and ebbing and gentle ripples on the beach or an open countryside with the wind and the beautiful vistas and a, a sense of freedom, which takes you away from the daily worries of your condition because your illness is with you, whatever you do. But I find this gives you a very welcome respite from it because it you, you're not thinking of anything else you're just thinking about the music and the sense of relaxation one example of how i've used the tambora with an inpatient here is with a lady that i did some work with in day hospice who knew the work with music and who knew me a little bit she'd moved into end of life phase and she was in a little bit of agitation and her breathing was quite restless and the nurses asked me if I could come in and do any music with her. Her husband was there at the time, and her husband, I knew from previous conversations, was a bit skeptical about music therapy and imagery, but nonetheless, I asked him if he'd like me to play a bit of music to her. And he said, yes, please go ahead. And what I did with the tambour on that occasion is try to match the pacing of the strings with her breathing, which was quite agitated. And as I did this, I tried to build a bit of resonance, a bit of rapport with her, and then what I could do once that was established is then slow down and make the sounds of the tambora more regular and calmer with more space in between. And sure enough, that had the effect of making her breathing more regular and more calm. And she looked much more settled. Her facial muscles lost their tension and became calmer. She looked calmer. And even afterwards, her husband said to me, um, if he had not seen this happen with his own eyes, he would not have believed it. So for other hospices, other healthcare organisations, with a minimal amount of training, someone could pick this up. They don't have to be musical in the slightest. They could play it and it would have, um, from my research to date and the research that's been done in Germany to date, good effective results at calming patients down, reducing anxiety levels and making people feel, um, giving them a greater sense of well-being. Mm -hmm.